again. Uh, I posted a video showing uh, Tesla's uh, new uh, an enhanced anti-theft feature uh, with the hardware that I got installed. And there's been a number of questions about what the technology is, which I'm not really sure. There's been mention of it being an ultrasonic transducer, the fact that it probably disables itself when you turn climate control on. Um, and we're gonna do a few tests on that to see what, what happens. Uh, as well as uh, what happens when it's plugged into a charger um, and even see what happens because this is something I'm concerned about is a lot of times I might run in and do something, go into the post office, have my keys and if there's somebody in the car that doesn't have the keys and now it locks and goes into uh, security mode, will they set it off or will it be disabled because it senses somebody uh, is sitting in the seat? I really don't know. We'll find out. Okay, uh, the car is currently armed. The rear window is open. It's very windy and cold. Um, the climate control is currently off. I'm going to turn it on using my wife's phone. And let's crank the heat up quite a bit. And let it go. So the big question has been, if I do this, is it also temporarily uh, disabling the alarm because it knows that the, f the fans are going to somehow uh, set off the alarm so it disables itself. The theory in general is that it does. I don't believe it based on some of the things I've done here that it will. Um, especially with the window being open, there's plenty of air blowing in and out of the car anyway. But um, it's, it's currently on. It's been on for a minute. Let me uh, go take a look here. And we're going to set off the alarm if we can by sticking our hand in the window and uh, here we go okay back in the car now uh, and you can see that uh, all the security is set up it's on the uh, tilt intrusion is on and um, I have my lovely wife Roxanne here in the car as a, a test subject say hello Roxanne hello and I am going to get out of the car as if I just went to the post office or something. And then I'm going to uh, take my uh, key fob into the house so it's far and away. And then we'll see if she can set off the alarm by moving uh, once it is uh, all set up. So I'll be right back. Okay, the car is now locked up. She's in the car. And... Uh, yeah, I would think the security system by now would be set since it's locked. Uh, I'm not positive, but uh, I'm going to signal her to wave her arms around here. And uh, we'll see, she's moving her arms around. So it does not seem to go off, at least if somebody is sitting in the front seat. So that is actually a good thing. Um, and I'm not sure whether it's showing disabled or not, but I'm guessing it just does it uh, internally. So that's uh, a good thing. Now we're going to test it in the back seat because that might be a different story. All right, we just did the test in the in the uh, front seat and she was not able to uh, activate the alarm, which is good, which means it ignores her when she's in the car. Uh, although this is not on tape, when she uh, opened the door when I was on the way to go get the uh, key fob, it set off the alarm. So opening the door does set it. So if you do leave somebody in the car, you need to tell them not to get out. I think this is the same situation even without the uh, the tilt intrusion. So now we're going to do another test, uh, which I think we can know, hopefully know, Roxanne is now in the back seat, and we're going to do the same test. But this time she's going to wait to open the door until I give her the signal so we can kind of let you see. I assume that's going to happen. So um, I will get out now. Okay, I put the key in the house. The car is now locked. Uh, she's been in there a while. And uh, let's see, however, she's moving around. And, and that is really interesting. It did not uh, go off getting out of the back seat. Okay, here's another test. We are going to uh, close the car door. Uh, and the rear window is now open. The car is plugged into the charger. So we're gonna make sure that this works while the car is charging. Um, and just to make it a little interesting, uh, we 
are going to go into um, uh, the temperature settings and we are going to do leave climate on. So this will be a bit of a double test. If we determine something, then we'll determine, I mean, with both these things going, uh, if the alarm is disabled, we'll, we'll know it, then we'll figure it out. So I've taken the keys in the house. The car is definitely still plugged into the charger and the window is open. As you can see, I just uh, went into the app and double checked and it does still show that the heat is on. Uh, in the app, so they're communicating properly. I took a screenshot of that, which I'll show, uh, or I'm showing, I should say. And now I will stick my hand in the car and uh, see what happens. Okay, that's definitely working. Another uh, thing, another thing to take note of is the fact that uh, even after setting the alarm off and so forth. The climate is still remaining on uh, at the set temperature. Okay, it's been no oh, at least five or ten minutes. It's been a while, and it's uh, been uh, heated to sixty-eight degrees. It's still plugged into the charger. Uh, the alarm is on. Uh, so uh, you know, I want to say that it seems to remain protected with the HVAC uh, system activated. Uh, it just opened, I have my keys. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, it seems like long-term, longer term, it works. Uh, plugged into the uh, charger, it works. Uh, uh, whether you do it in the app or you set it up uh, on the uh, screen as keep climate on, uh, it seems to work. Uh, in those situations. So uh, I still am a little confused about what the uh, the protection setup is, but maybe with that it does some things. Maybe maybe um, to protect some of the uh, components, it shuts some things down, like the computer temporarily, or puts it into a sleep mode of some kind that the protection just doesn't become available. I'm not really sure. All right, so uh, that is the extent of the testing. Um, and um, I have just also uh, noticed that we got an alert on the phone saying that the alarm had been triggered. So uh, that answers another question that I got. Do you get an alert? And the answer is yes.